What is up, YouTube? So we're back working on the El Camino, and on this video, we're gonna go over the cooling system. So on this cooling system, I'm actually, I usually use spa fans because they'll be working out great, and um, they're brush fans. So what that means is um, you usually run them off a relay, and they're either on or off. There's no in between. Now, I did do a video on how you can hook them up with three relays, so that way they go on 50%. So that way they're either on 50% or 100%. So make sure you guys check out my um, YouTube channel, look for the video on that. Now these are brushless, so the benefit of these is for one, you do not need a separate relay for each. So they're all integrated. So you see how they have three wires coming out? So they have the main power wires. This one will go to a battery source. This one will go to a good ground. It could go to the battery as well for ground. And then you have the control wire, which is this one here. This one gets a signal in. Um, it's a pulse with modulated signal. Uh, at 100 hertz, you go between 0 to 100% load. And depending on what signal this gets, it'll determine how fast the fan spin. Now, for some reason, you don't want to opt for the uh, controller for that. I'm going to go ahead and try to hook them up to my Terminator X and have my Terminator X control the fan speed, either make them high or low. Now, if you don't want to deal with all that and you just want them to work them like the regular fans that Spall has, um, you could hook up this to a 12-volt source. And anytime this green wire gets a full 12 volts, these fans are going to go to 100%. Now, I do believe that when that green wire gets 12 volts, I believe it's called a soft start where it turns on slowly so you don't have a huge ant spike. And then it slowly ramps up to 100%. So we're going to go ahead and test that out. But first, let's get these mounted onto the radiator. Now, one more thing, it does come with these, this kit here to mount them straight to the radiator. I saw some guy post a video on TikTok talking about how you need to have shrouds. If not, it's not gonna be 100% efficient. Guys, you don't need shrouds, that's old um, technology. So before they used to have fans hooked up straight to that, then they started using shrouds because you get, um, you get airflow through the entire fan. Wherever the shroud goes to, you get airflow through there. But now, uh, with today's technology and the efficiency of fans, you don't really need that. What you really need is, and what's more important, is whenever you mount these straight up here, you need to make sure that that gap right there is completely sealed off. Because the wider that gap is, the less air it'll suck through the radiator. But uh, again, guys, you don't need shrouds if you mount them correctly. So let's go ahead and get these mounted up. All right, guys, if you never installed these fans um, onto the radiator straight up using these uh, fan clips, I guess you call them. Um, let me show you real quick. It's not that hard. So first off, you could either run this through these here that come with the fan. So these are basically um, what holds a fan on. They have little clips here. You grab this and you just slide it on there. You can either do it that way and then slide this piece in through that hole. Or if it doesn't come with these clips right here, you could use these holes right here where it mounts. So you could mount it on slide it into there and then through there. So you want four spots, one, two, three, and then four. And once you do that, you're gonna run it through that hole. Um, I'm using these clips here, the ones that came with the kit. So once I run it through there, it goes in through there on the other side, right here, this goes in through this. On the other side, you're gonna put one of these little square stickies. One side is sticky, it's basically foam. One side is sticky. This side that has the paper. So you're gonna run it that way, punch it in all the way down. And then the other side is just foam. So the sticky part is gonna be facing up against here. Once you push all the way through, make sure you find a slot and make sure it's even. So I counted down eight from the top, one, two, three, four, eight. And then I slid my first one through there. Same thing on the other side. And then I went down and I made those even. Once you punch them through, you will have it like that. Basically all the way through, you pull it all the way through. And then you put the other side of the sticky foam. So you have two pieces, one sticky foam on this side, one on this side. You push the sticky foam that way. That will sit up against that. The reason you do that is so you don't damage it with this plastic piece. And it, it helps it glue and, and stick on a little bit better. So once you push that all the way down like that, then you push this thing all the way to it. So that way you have it like this. Now when you cut this, don't cut too close to the edge because if you do, there's a chance that this will come loose and fall off. So you want to give it maybe like one or two little bumps up before you cut it. And then that way you have, I would cut it like right there. That way you don't have too much sticking out. But if you cut it too tight, like flush with that, chances are these, when it gets hot and cold, these might pop off. So you don't want to do that. Then you do the same thing for the other side. 
Um, one thing I like to use is this stuff here. It's kind of like an RTV material. It's, it's flexible and never dries and it's kind of like a glue as well. I put that around here on all my fans. That gives me a tighter seal and it helps the fan stick onto there. So you can see right there with that. And it helps to give it a better seal and it helps it stick onto there so it doesn't have that much weight and it doesn't move that much when the fans come on. So I'm gonna go ahead and mount the other one up and then we're gonna run these up and see what they sound like. All right guys, so check it out. So we got it wired up or we got it mounted to the radiator. Now these fans, uh, they do advertise soft start. So what that is, is instead of being on off like all the other fans, like the um, small fans, which don't, they are good fans. Small fans do make amazing fans. But these have a, what's called a soft start. So as soon as um, they see a signal, they slowly speed up to the correct speed. Now, like I said, you could wire up the black one straight to the battery, uh, the positive, the red one. You'd want to get a fuse for it, probably like a 20 amp fuse, and then wire it to the battery. And then this green one here, if you don't have a way to control it, you can run it to a 12 volt uh, switch. So it gets 12 volts when it needs to come on. And I'm gonna do it right now so that way you see what the soft start looks like. So we have this black one going to ground, this red one here going to positive. You might hear some arcing, but don't worry guys, I'm okay. Now you see this green wire here, when it gets 12 volts, look at the fans. So 12 volts now, it gets a signal. It's like, all right, let's go ahead and ramp up. And then it goes from zero to 100%. Now, if you have a controller for these, um, you can set it to um, obviously control the fan speed. So it could be like 20%, 30%, depends on the temperature of the vehicle. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to wire up that green wire to my Terminator X and see if I can get it wired up to where if it says, let's say it sees um, 180 degrees, it comes on low and then it'll gradually increase up until when it sees 195, it'll be 100% full blast. So that's the plan. So it might take a while because I got to get these wired up to Terminator X. And obviously I haven't finished the Terminator X yet because I'm still waiting to do a few parts for my vehicle. But that's where we're at so far, guys. All right, guys. But before I leave you on this video, I'm going to show you one more tip. Share one more piece of nugget for you guys to not get screwed over on your LS swap. Now, if you're using an automatic trans cooler or maybe you're using a TR6060 that also has a trans cooler, these lines right here are for a trans cooler. So they basically come in, they swirl around to get cooling off of the radiator fluid. They swirl around and they come back out. Now, if you look on the inside of those lines, you see that right there? That is what we call an inverted flare. So most of, or some of these radiators used to come with quarter inch MPT, which is this right here. This is a quarter inch MPT. Basically it's tapered so that threads do the sealing. So as you screw it in, the tighter it screws in, the more it'll seal. On these, anytime you use pipe threads that are tapered like this, or pipe threads in general, you always wanna use some kind of sealant. But these are the incorrect fittings for that. Like I showed you, it has an inverted flare. Now these are uh, close to the same threads as this fitting. You can see how this fitting right here on the inside, it has the inverted flare to seal up with that. Anytime you use a flare as a sealing surface, you do not use any kind of sealant, thread locker, thread tape, or anything like that. These sealed based off of that flare. This is a correct fitting for this radiator. And as radiators get made overseas in China and everywhere else more often, they're gonna come with these style of fittings. They don't really use national pipe thread overseas. So as you can see, this one screws in a lot easier and it will seal against that. So you wanna make sure you pick up these fittings instead. Um, when you order your radiator, look down in the information section and see if it says quarter inch MPT or if it says half by 20 straight thread or something like that. And then get the correct fitting. Um, if, as always, if you guys have questions or need help with your other swap, definitely subscribe to my Instagram. I have subscribers only section where I help you guys fix your vehicles on a one-on-one -on -one basis. And if you want to support me, you know my cash app and you know my website to buy some merch. I will talk to you guys on the next video. See you guys.